Hello from the bus terminal of Guadalajara, Jalisco, but not for long. Pretty soon I'm going to be hopping on one of these luxury buses and heading to my beloved Querétaro. Before getting on this bus, there was a guy who took my bag, put a tag on it, and then I got the little stub so I can pick it up after the fact. And there was somebody doing security. One guy got patted down after his stuff was looked through. Another guy, he just looked through the bag. Mine, he barely looked in it at all. So there's some amount of security, but oh, are we leaving? Oh, this bus is like super empty. There's like no one. Cool. So I've got all this space to myself. To make things easier on myself and to make sure that I got to pick the exact seat that I wanted right up here in the front, I bought my ticket online. You can either buy it as a fixed seat, fixed time, or you can get an open-ended ticket so you can come here and travel whatever time you want. But like I said, I wanted to pick my seat. And for this four hour bus ride, it cost, shoot, what did it cost? It costs 653 pesos, which is a pretty dang good deal if you ask me, because you're sitting in here in these super reclining, very comfortable seats. In front of you, you have a large screen to watch, I think, movies, shows. You might be able to play games on them. I'll have to play around with it a little bit and see. And um, if you're thinking, Maddie, wow, you look really tired today. It's because I am very tired because last night, apparently it was one of my neighbor's birthdays and some loved one or friend of theirs decided to rent them out a five man mariachi band, which started playing very loudly at midnight. actually startled me out of sleep. I was not sure what the heck was going on. <laughs> like literally, my reaction was to sit up super straight in bed, bolt out of my room, because I don't know why I thought it was like my phone going off or some type of an emergency, but I ran. Um, and they were pretty good though. Uh, the only problem is they played for like an hour um, and then I had a really hard time falling back asleep after that. <laughs> So the great thing about picking one of these seats that's in the very front row is that you don't have anybody leaning back into you because these seats really, wait, they should theoretically. Um, okay, that means we mental. Okay, it appears this seat might be broken, but they do lean back, oh jeez, quite far. And um, what should happen is this, this thing also comes out so you can really like super recline um, but thankfully as I mentioned the bus is completely empty so I have my pick I can sit over there I can sit in the back I can sit in the middle I can sit with the driver no probably not <laughs> so basically these are meant to be like those really awesome lay flat seats that you get in the super super first class of airplanes if they work I just tried mine this one and that one and no dice <laughs> It has been an incredibly pleasant bus ride so far. We're only an hour of the five hours in, but the scenery has been absolutely gorgeous. It's mostly a cloudy day, so there's been some like mistiness and fogginess, but my goodness, the landscape in, I think we're still in Jalisco. Oof, gorgeous. Well, it looks like we are getting here to the bus terminal about 30 minutes early, so I think that means this drive took about four hours and 10 minutes or so. Awesome, super uneventful, very smooth drive, nice bathrooms, quiet. Gracias. Hello, de nada. Ángel, buenas tardes. ¿Qué es, señorita? ¿La roja? ¿La roja? ¿La roja? Esta. Gracias. Sí, está bien. Not gonna lie, it feels very weird to be back here in Querétaro. So if you're new here, you're probably like, why on earth is it such a big deal that you're going back to Querétaro? Well, for three and a half years, I was making Mexico travel vlogs with my then boyfriend. We finally decided to settle down in the city, but a few months after getting a house together, we broke up. He wanted kids and I'm not sure if I ever do. And yes, we both knew that very early on in the relationship, but he kind of thought I would get baby fever and change my mind. After the breakup, things got extremely messy to say the least. I ended up deciding that the healthiest thing for me to do would be to move out of the house that we were currently sharing, sell my half of Tangerine Travels to my ex, and move to a new city entirely. Unfortunately, that did mean leaving all my friends, my dog, who was originally Jordan's dog, and the city that I loved behind. So 
Being here is kind of heavy, but I'm also very excited to be back. Well, I'm waiting for a friend of mine to get off work right now, but can I just say, I miss that Querétaro is so dry because it went in Guadalajara from hot and dry to still kind of hot, but really humid. So the dryness, I like it. It's fresh, you're not sticky. <laughs> I definitely miss that right off the bat. So I am now here with my friend, Mon, that I actually used to live above her in my old apartment. And had to come to Sonora Grove because first of all I'm starving. I actually haven't eaten anything today. It was early. It was <laughs> early when I left and I brought an orange. No, I ate peanuts. I had oh, some peanuts, great. but that doesn't count. Uh, so we're gonna get some drinks and some food and catch up because it's been four months since we've seen each other. <laughs> and now it is storming up a storm. I don't know if you can hear that thunder, but this thunderstorm is glorious oh my gosh i don't know maybe it's because i'm from phoenix and like we only get monsoon storms once a year but thunderstorms with lightning and all the rain it's great i had to order rappy to get some water delivered here and um, i got drenched because this complex is very confusing and i just ended up walking all over the place trying to find my rappy guy my rappy guy was trying to find me um but i'm very hopeful that i will get to see Lax laska tomorrow because i miss her so much, it makes me want to cry. I may have already cried, but anyway, mañana. distracted by all the smells and stuff in this apartment. Uh, I was told that there might have been a dog in here before, um, so she was definitely sniffing around all over the place. But I pretty much spent the entire day in the house, um, napping, cuddling, and uh, it's just been amazing to be back and spending some time with her. I cannot even express how much I've missed this beautiful girl. Did you miss me? Are you mad? <laughs> Because yes, I was mom to Laska for six years, uh, which is half her life, uh, so it's, it's hard to be away, but of course she was my ex's dog first before we met, so obviously that is why he kept her. You wanna go for a walk? <laughs> Still with a cute head tilt, huh? <laughs> Your leg seems better. But it's definitely different than before. Oh, well, there's so many smells. Yeah, it rained a lot yesterday. Oh, the smells. So many smells.
So for breakfast, I had to come to one of my old favorite spots called Terraza La Grupa because it is a rooftop terrace, which as you can probably see, it has an amazing view of all these churches around here. Um, just really good vibes. The food is awesome. And I had to get a carajillo, guilty pleasure of mine, because it comes with so much foam. Oh, so good. <laughs> so I decided to get en frijoladas, which are like enchiladas, but with a bean sauce. In this case, it's like a spicy bean sauce with chorizo on top and avocado and cheese on the inside. Mm. So good. A little on the spicy side for me, not gonna lie, but <laughs> I still get this every single time I come anyway. Well, since I'm in Centro, of course I gotta do this. Gotta, I gotta, I gotta do it. El Centro del Centro! <laughs> the heck is this? So I definitely don't know what the story is behind this, but it looks like an art installation made from found materials. Aw, things like this that I really, really missed about Querétaro. Also, one of my other favorite things that I've never seen anywhere else in Mexico. I think one of the cutest things, the most little random awesome things of Querétaro are that they've changed, instead of it being a like walk, don't walk hand sign, they're little Lele dolls and Lele dolls are unique to Querétaro. They were created in a small indigenous town, or well, they were created by indigenous people in a town called Amealco, I believe. I used to think it was just a doll of Mexico, but it's actually from here. And I think they're adorable with the ribbons on their hair. It's the little things in life, right? So perhaps the most emblematic thing of Querétaro is this beautiful 18th century aqueduct. I love coming here and looking at this even in the time that I lived here for a year because it's very like you see the old and the new. It's the historic mixed with these giant high rises and um, kind of the the root of the city, the historic roots of the city mixed with what it's developed into today. So as I've been lazily meandering around Centro, enjoying the historic buildings and the sites, wandering in and out of various shops and whatnot, I gotta say I super miss how safe the city is. Like I don't feel like people look at me for any amount of time longer than like, oh look a person that's doing something with this robot in front of her face <laughs> or something like that. Oh a foreigner, light skin, green eyes, whatever. Whereas the vibe is certainly different in Guadalajara and I am very, very happy that I'll be leaving there soon for that reason specifically. But yeah, I truly don't know what the deal is with Guadalajara, but I consistently feel like whenever I'm going out, even in the daytime, that I'm about to be the target of something. Trafficking, getting robbed, I don't know. Um, and the robbed thing has actually happened. My phone got stolen right out of my hand in broad daylight when I was with a friend. Uh, but here, nope, I don't get that impression at all and like most cities in Mexico, I don't feel like that. So I feel like everybody's probably thinking at this point, okay, Maddie, what's the chisme? When is she gonna give us the dirty deets about this trip? <laughs> Maybe naively, I thought I was going into this like, this is just gonna be a fun trip. I'm gonna see my old friends. I'm gonna walk around the old places that I used to like, go to the restaurants that I used to enjoy and all that. It has been emotional, more emotional than I was expecting. More of a roller coaster, you know, seeing Alaska, being back here, being reminded of the life that I thought I was going to have um, in a city that I truly, truly do love. Um, I miss also the like safety factor. I don't know what this is <laughs> that I'm walking by. This is new. <laughs> um, but I don't think I. <laughs> I don't know if I really have chisme to share. Um, certainly the emotions, the roller coaster of emotions that I've been experiencing doesn't have to do with my ex. Um, I think things happen the way that they needed to happen. And so it's not that, it's not, oh, I wish I could get back together. Nothing, nothing, nothing like that. But more like being reminded of the life that I thought I was going to have, almost. Does that make any sense? The only way I can describe this is like an out-of-body experience. And maybe I'm being dramatic, maybe. <laughs> but it's like these places that I used to go to all the time, this life that I used to have here, my friends, uh, 
it's like I'm like watching myself do all of this. I, I, I don't know. What I can also say, something that I was pleasantly surprised by on this trip in the past two days, is going back to these places that I used to go all the time, like I went to Dodo Cafe yesterday, I actually met Jenny and Kevin from Eat by La Travel, their YouTube channel. There's Sonora Grill and these other restaurants, like people remembered me when I used to go there, like I was, you know, a, kind of a regular at these places, so that was cool. Even after four months, it was like people are greeting me, hey Maddie, long time no see, oh my gosh, you're back, que milagro, things like that. That was cool. Warm fuzzies, for sure. <laughs> Truth be told, this trip did not go how I was expecting it to. I honestly thought it was going to be all sunshine and rainbows and happy times and making new memories. Um, I'm super glad that I got to spend time with my friends and of course I've had some visitation with Alaska while I'm here. Um, but definitely being in my old stomping grounds brought up a lot of emotions that maybe I just I wasn't expecting to come to the surface. Thankfully, no, there was no major drama like fighting or anything like that that you might be thinking with the ex situation. Uh, but I, I think uh, I'll be happy to go back to my new normal life in Guadalajara and kind of put some more distance to this situation. But coming up, less drama, more Mexico fun. I will be going back to Mexico City, so be sure to subscribe to my channel. On the screen here is a video I made recently in Guadalajara if you want to see what my new life is like there. And one more thing. Gong that bell so you get notified the next time I release a new video, and I hope to see you there.